Hey guys, it's Joe for PocketNow.com. Yesterday we showed you how to search for stuff on your Android and on the internet using your voice instead of your keyboard. Well today, it's text input using just your voice. Let's go take a look. All right, so this is my G2 by T-Mobile. It is running a Cyanogen Mod Nightly, so this is actually running Gingerbread, but you can do this on just about every version of Android that I've seen, including the old, old, old ones. And it has to do with this little teeny microphone icon down on the keyboard. Now, this is the swipe keyboard, and your swipe keyboard may or may not have a microphone. Uh, this is the latest beta, and it does, but if you, uh, if you don't have that in your swipe, Go back to a stock keyboard, something that came stock with Android, and it should have that microphone right there. It's generally overlooked, and I really don't understand why, because it's really powerful, and it's getting more and more easy to use. It's getting more stuff that you can do with it, uh, and it's starting to learn your individual voice. So that's really kind of neat. Now, first of all, I want to tell you that using voice recognition in this kind of setup where the phone is flat on a table isn't that great. Holding it up to your ear like you're making a phone call works best. Holding it out in front of you in a quiet room also works really well. But if we have some mistakes here, uh, some transcription mistakes, it's most likely due to sitting it on this keyboard, which means we don't have this rear microphone. See if I can get that on camera for you. We don't have that rear microphone there assisting with the front microphone. But we're going to go ahead and give this a try and see if we can recognize a shopping list. All right, so I've fired up Evernote, which is my favorite note-taking application. Not only does it uh, let you store notes locally on the device, it also syncs them up to the cloud. So you can take notes on your laptop, on your desktop, on your smartphone, and they all sync together into one unified notebook on, on the web. Uh, but you can still use it disconnected, which is very nice. So what we're gonna do, we're going to fire up a new note, we're going to come down here into the text input box, and this tip is going to work in any text input box out there, any standard text input box, let's put it that way. Um, and the tip is to use your microphone icon down here, not to be confused with this microphone icon up here. You see, in Evernote, you can take a voice note that is actually recorded, uh, recorded audio, which can come in really handy. Well, today, what I want to do is show you how to use this microphone, which is the voice to text. So let's go ahead and create a shopping list. Pick up milk, eggs, bread, and cereal. As soon as it detects silence, it's going to recognize it. And you can see here, it says pick up milk, eggs, bread, and cereal, just like I said. Now, the more I use this, the more accurate it's going to get because it starts to learn my voice in particular. Now, you could think that that's really neat and really helpful, or you could put on your aluminum hat and think that this is kind of scary because you're sending Google all of your voice patterns. Whichever way you want to think about it, that's up to you. Uh, just know that if you have that option turned on, it is going to be creating a voice profile for you. But really neat. Now, like I said, we can do this in any text box that we want to, including the title, which we can come up in here, shopping list. And just as easy as that, we've got our shopping list in our Evernote. It could just as easily have been an email, and I can really record a lot of stuff. So let me come back down in here, and I'm just going to set this to record while I'm summing up. Just so you can see that you can record an awful lot of text in here and send that off to Google and have Google recognize it for you. Now this does require that you have an internet connection because it's not your phone that's doing the recognition, it's the Google servers. We'll let that recognize. And the longer it is, generally, the less accurate it is, but you can see it did pretty good. The second season recording of a lot of text in here and send off to Google. Uh, so you see, it doesn't get it exactly right. The shorter, more succinct sentences you can uh, record, the better. But even still, if I had this to look at, I could probably figure out what I meant uh, relatively easily. It's kind of like text or handwriting recognition on the old uh, Windows CE pocket PC phones before it became Windows Mobile. Uh, but still kind of cool. There's your Android quick tip for the day. If you've done something like this or have a novel, ingenuitive way to use this uh, voice input 
the voice recognition stuff built into Android, please let us know in the comments down below. Uh, thumbs up this video so that we know that you guys like seeing this kind of stuff and want to see more of it in the future. We still have those voice intents or voice actions coming up, which is going to be really, really powerful. So make sure you subscribe to our video channel so you don't miss out on that if you haven't done so already. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.